Swing in my bag. Poop. <laughs> Drop in your bag of poop. Poop it doesn't bust. <laughs> Hi, we're Owen, Lynn, and Maggie of Van Trekking Lifestyle, and we're really glad you're part of this journey with us. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. When we last left you, we were tired from visiting Hatcher's Pass. We needed a place to spend the night, so we came back to the Mananuska River spot that we'd stayed at many nights before. So Lynn and I pointed out yesterday that Maggie was acting like a puppy. She was running and having a great time. And then I think today, she's realizing that she's not a puppy anymore and she's this has been her position it's 5 10 in the afternoon and we've been up well we slept in this morning but we've been up and she has just assumed this position most of the day going whoo maybe i'm not a puppy after all what'd you say day <laughs> <laughs> i am a puppy you want to go for a I walk i am a puppy you want to go for a walk you do you do? Okay, let's go. You want to be a puppy? You do? Okay. Okay. You ready? In this life, is I'm by well, it almost feels like a shame to leave this beautiful place here, doesn't it? Yeah, but we've got lots more to see. <laughs> I know, we can't sit here or we won't see it all. We've uh, we've spent three nights at this wonderful place. Let me show you what it looks like out of our front window. We have mountains downstream. We have mountains upstream. We're right up against a bank of trees to block the wind. And we slept like babies. It is a good place to sleep. It is. Sleep's important to old people. Yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> Even though there's a lot of campers here, it's it's relatively quiet. Yeah, yeah. So free. Yeah, zero dollars. Yeah. And we took showers last night, and now we're gonna pull out of here, do a little off-roading to get back to the highway, and we're going to head towards Glen Allen, and maybe eventually today make our way into Valdez. Yeah. We're making some progress into yeah, Alaska. Like plan. Glad you're along with us. We headed out on the Glen Highway, the longest freeway in Alaska and the main way to get to Anchorage. We were going to take this highway all the way to the Richardson Highway, which would then end up in Valdez. Along the way, we began seeing the Matanuska Glacier ahead of us. That thing is 27 miles long and four miles wide, the largest glacier you can visit by car in the United States. It feeds the Matanuska River where we just spent the night. 18,000 years ago, this glacier reached all the way to the Palmer area, north of where we stayed. Enough driving by this glacier, we had to stop at the state park to see it for ourselves. So even though it's still July, it's been an abnormally warm summer. The trees are confused. They're already starting to change into fall. So this is a lot like conversations we have. We've made it out about a half a mile as we viewed the glacier. We're not sure if the trail keeps going around in a circle, as in a loop trail, or if it's an out and back. So we had to make a choice. Keep going or go back. 
guess which one we chose yep we're gonna keep going the worst thing that happen is it just turns into a two mile walk that's not that bad Have you ever wondered about a glacier? How can it keep from melting? You know how when you pile up snow on the side of the road whenever they're clearing snow that even months after it's become warm the snow is still there? That's what happens with this glacier. It's so fat and it's so big that, well, it just refuses to melt. It's like a snowman that just won't melt. You know there's a stagnant side to the glacier? Many years ago, part of this glacier slid off to the right and it was cut off from the active portion. And by active I mean the ice is moving all the time. And then it's being replaced as it snows and slides down the mountain. But this section over here is no longer part of that process and will remain that way until we get a really big snow, as in tens of feet. Kind of neat, huh? Forgot to tell you that you can see I'm in a long sleeve shirt and I'm in my jeans. 63 degrees up here. What a beautiful day. Swinging my bag of poop. <laughs> Dropping your bag of poop. It doesn't bust. <laughs> We turned onto the Richardson Highway, a scenic beauty of a route, which much of it is designated as a national scenic byway and is known by those who visit here as one of the most beautiful drives in Alaska. You can see the Chugup Mountains in the Alaska Range, and you can see the Trans-Alaska Pipeline that carries oil 800 miles from Prudhoe Bay, where we've already been, all the way to where we're going now in Valdez. As if all the jaw-dropping beauty of the glaciers and the mountains were not enough, as we got close to Valdez, we were presented with two of the most spectacular waterfalls we've ever seen, Bridalville Falls and Horsetail Falls.
Riding through now, just trying to get. Yeah. I feel like get a scope of the place. Go back, right through town if you want to. So at the moment, we're just riding through, trying to scope out different places that we could spend the night for free. Thanks a lot, Jim. We don't ever want to pay for a site to stay at anymore. So free is good. It looks like you can stay for free here for up to 48 hours. You're self contained. I'm okay looking out the windshield at the harbor, aren't you? I am. It's about 10 o'clock at night on the 16th of July and we are out right now, or at least I'm out and Maggie's out. Maggie's doing her last little potty walk. Look around, we're in the middle of Valdez, Alaska. And we're just out here walking on the boardwalk. The reason we're walking on the boardwalk is it's not like us, but maybe it is now i don't know maybe it is but we are stealth camping tonight in the middle of town so you may say what is stealth camping well you act like you're parked here out on a 24-hour fishing trip but we're not really fishing but don't tell anybody okay so the view is this here here's the view we're at the marina 
clouds on the mountains, glaciers in view, beautiful sunset that's going to go down tonight around 11.30 and stay dark for maybe two hours. And then in the street, do you recognize something? Yep. That's the Travado just parked on the street. Like I said, don't tell anybody, okay? It's a secret. <laughs> the only thing we did differently to the van that we normally don't do is you can when you look in it looks like we've just parked here doesn't it we didn't put the little secret things up in the front we didn't put the windshield mounts because we don't want it to look like we're in there that's the whole point of it we want it to look like nobody's there and everything's good you know so we don't want it to look like we're in there and then also when people are coming like they are across the street we're not going to stop and go in when a bunch of people are looking because the last thing we want is that guy to be the you know the last thing we want is that guy to be like the brother and the police officer here in town so we're not going to do that but other than that that's the only thing different we've got the uh the vent fan running and we've been watching tv and Actually, we've been watching YouTube because there's not a lot of cell phone uh, connectivity here. There's a really good signal, but it's a congested tower for Verizon here in Bounties. So we can't do a lot with it. But if you look right here, over my head, 48-hour maximum parking. I don't know what that means to you, but to me, that means I can sit here for 48 hours if we want to. And we're not going to we'll get up tomorrow and go walk on a glacier or something cool like that but we're definitely going to spend the night and maggie keeps seeing all these rabbits look at these rabbits are everywhere she's so excited there's a rabbit i saw it maggie i saw it where did it go come on come on back come on back come on back let's go back we'll go get back in the van now But that's our life now. We found a little campground that we really like, a place called Lulu's. And they charge $35 for a full hookup and water and electricity. And you guys have been watching us for a long time, probably know even three to four months ago, we've been all, we would have been all over that. But we've just gotten so used to this free, spend no money kind of camping at these cool spots. That place is pretty neat, but it doesn't have this view. And this view doesn't cost anything. So that's what we're doing tonight. I've got to sneak in here. Somebody's coming. <laughs> anyway, it looks great. It looks like... No, it doesn't look like we're sleeping in here at all. And so that's it for the night. We're going to kind of hunker down and spend the night here. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Maggie says happy tales. Be sure to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on the web, Van Trading Lifestyle. Thanks for being part of the journey.